Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix d3dx9 underscore 36.dll not found or missing on your PC. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. The first uh, step method that I suggested to do here is simply restart your computer and look if the problem persists. And if it's persisting, then I suggest you to install the latest ver version of DirectX. You just need to, on Google, you just need to write DirectX and use the runtime. Uh, probably it will be the first link here. Open up, select language and download setup. And let's do that, then install it here by pressing on the setup, then press on I accept agreement, uh, deselect this option here and hit next. And after is, after is uh, this setup is installed, you just need to restart your computer and look if the problem persists or not. And uh, if the error uh, occurred when you try to launch the game, then open up uh, your game client, for example, Steam, Epic Games or other, go to library, find the game, right click on it, go to properties, go to installed files and verify integrity of the game files. So maybe your files is corrupted and then hit browse or on search, simply look for uh, game, right click and open file location and you, it will be, you will be here and you just need to find TXT file, right click on it, go to properties, uh, properties, compatibility, make sure these two options is not selected here and hit apply and OK. And uh, the problem still persists, then I highly advise you to install that uh, and uninstall and reinstall that particular app or game. Just go to installed apps. And then on this menu, you need to find the app, uh, press on the burger menu, uninstall and reinstall again. And still, if the problem persists, then you just need to open up CMD or command prompt, right click on it, run as admin. Then uh, here you just need to write CFC forward slash scan now, one word. And what it does, you just need to wait until verification 100% uh, complete and your computer just will look for the files that is corrupted and uh, your computer will fix that, right? After the verification process is ended and then restart your computer again to look if the problem persists or not. And the last the thing that I suggest you to do here is to update your operating and uh, system and uh, GPU drivers. And to do so, you just need to go to search settings, uh, Windows update, uh, check for updates or install all. And if there is an update, you need to download and install them uh, here. And then same thing with your GPU drivers, depending on what GPU you're using. If you're using G NVIDIA, there is GeForce experience to that. You just need to go to drivers, check for updates and install the latest drivers. If you're using KMD, I believe there is EMD Radian app or simply you just, you can go just device manager to device manager. And then here you just need to go to display adapters, right click on your GPU, update drivers and search automatically for drivers. And yeah restart your PC and look if the problem persists or not, but it should be fixed. Right, that's pretty much it. If I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care.